In a previous video, I explained how you can hide your search history information from your internet service provider or your ISP simply by changing the DNS settings of the devices and the router in your home network. Well, in today's episode, we're taking things to the next level. What I'm talking about is implementing encryption for your DNS queries. In this episode from Network From Home, I'll be explaining how you can implement encryption for your DNS queries and also why you need to implement it in the first place. The first question you might be asking is why do you need to encrypt DNS queries in the first place? Well, unfortunately, that's because your DNS queries are currently unencrypted. They're sent in plain text. Every time you wanna to go to a website, that request, hey, I'm looking for the IP address of this certain website, that's going to a DNS server unencrypted. So technically anyone can listen in on that and see exactly what websites you're trying to access. You have to understand that DNS queries today, they were built for speed. They weren't built with security and privacy in mind. They were using user datagram protocol or UDP, and that's a very insecure protocol. Nowadays, you can implement encryption with DNS over HTTPS or DOH. And the better news here is that most major internet browsers have enabled DOH. You just need to make sure it's configured properly so that you're encrypting your DNS queries. There's actually another protocol you can use to encrypt your DNS queries called DNS over TLS or DOT. This is a little more complicated to implement, so I'll be showing you DOH today. The way the DOH works is it actually makes your DNS queries look like any other internet activity. It uses the same port, port 443. So even if you're trying to snoop in on DNS queries, it's really hard to identify which requests are actually DNS queries because there's a sea of all this internet activity that looks virtually the same. On top of that with DOH, just about everything in the request is encrypted, including the final IP address. So if you're listening in on the conversation, you really can't tell what's going on. DOH is set and configured in your internet browser settings. I'll give you a few examples of this in a short bit of time, but first I'd like to show you how DOH encrypts your DNS traffic and what that looks like. First, let's walk through the process of what a DNS query normally looks like. Let's say you have a laptop, you wanna access cnn.com, you need to find the IP address of cnn.com in order to navigate to that website. So you send the request to your router. I wanna to go to cnn.com. Your router passes that to a DNS server saying, hey, can you find me the IP address of cnn.com? Your DNS server then goes in and finds that IP address, sends it back to your router. Your router sends that IP address to your laptop and then your laptop takes that IP address and sends a request to the internet for that website. It goes through your router to the internet. That web page is returned to your router and then to your laptop to be viewed. This all happens in a matter of milliseconds. It's really fast and that's what the normal process looks like. As I mentioned though, that DNS query is in plain text. It's built for speed. It's not built for privacy and security out of the box. So here, if you send that same request, I wanna to go to cnn.com, it goes from your router to this DNS server. You could have somebody here listening in and being able to read what that request is. So let's say they see your request for the IP address of cnn.com, and then before your DNS server can look up that information and return it to your router, this hacker responds to your router and says, hey, I know what the IP address of cnn.com is, go check this out. Your router then passes this to your laptop. Your laptop goes, oh, I know the IP address of cnn.com now, let's request that website. Little do they know it's the wrong IP address, so when they send out this request, they're actually going to this hacker's malicious website. So they go, they send this malicious IP address to the router, the router sends it out to the internet, the internet returns a malicious website to your laptop, and then the next thing you know, you're on this hacker's website where they can be stealing your password, they can be trying to steal money from you. There's a whole host of things that can happen, but that's all a result of your DNS query being unencrypted. All right, so let's turn the tides here. Let's enable DOH and see what it looks like. With DNS over HTTPS, the entire DNS query is encrypted. That's why you see, even though the request here might be the same saying, I want the IP address of cnn.com, 
it looks like a random mess of numbers and characters because it's encrypted. So then when your laptop sends it to your router and your router sends it to your DNS server, even if this hacker is listening in, what they see is a random mess of characters and numbers and they can't really glean anything from this information. As a result, your DNS server is able to look up the IP address of that website. It's able to return it to your router and then to your laptop. Your laptop can then, with that IP address in hand from the encrypted DNS query, then go out to the internet, grab that website, and then view it. That hacker here is pretty much out of luck with encryption in place. They really can't see or snoop in on that DNS query. I should also mention the same goes for your ISP. If hackers can't snoop in on your DNS queries because they're encrypted, the same goes for your internet service provider. So now that you know how it works, how do you actually implement DNS over HTTPS for your DNS queries? Well, the easiest way to do this is to use a web browser that actually has DOH enabled. At this point, Google Chrome, Firefox, and Edge, those are the three most popular browsers. Those all have DOH enabled. You just need to verify that they're set up correctly in their settings, and I'll show you how to do that here. If you use Safari, there's still a way to implement DNS over HTTPS. It's a little more complicated. It involves installing proxies. At this point, I would recommend you use Firefox, Chrome, or Edge, just because it's a lot easier to implement DOH. All right, now let's walk through the DOH settings on the three main internet browsers. I thankfully have all of these internet browsers installed on my system so I can show you how to make sure that the DOH settings are configured correctly. We'll start with Google Chrome here. Let's open that up. All right, once you're in Chrome, and these steps are pretty similar for all of the internet browsers, but we go up here, settings. From here, we go privacy and security. Next, security. Then we're scrolling down here to use secure DNS, select DNS provider. Here it says OS default. This goes back to the previous video where I detailed how you can change your DNS settings on a local device like a workstation. But just to be safe, honestly, if you have one internet browser, if you're using Chrome all the time, I would just make sure you set it here. Here are your options. These are all the DNS providers that support DOH. So I'm just gonna select Cloudflare, which is the same thing that's set on my laptop itself as the DNS provider. From there, that covers it from Chrome. We can close this window. Now let's open Edge and see what that looks like. We're gonna open Microsoft Edge. Here, it's pretty much the same steps. Up here, the three dots, settings. From here, privacy, search, and services. From here, scrolling down. As you can see here, use secure DNS to specify how to look up network address for websites. The trick here, see how by default it said use current service provider. If you haven't previously changed your DNS settings to Cloudflare or another independent DNS provider, and you're using your ISP's DNS, most ISP's don't support DOH, so this is an issue. You wanna make sure you go choose service provider here, enter custom provider, we're gonna to go to Cloudflare, we'll use that one for our DOH queries. All right, that does it for Edge. Lastly, let's look at Firefox. The good news is with Firefox, out of the box, it has DOH implemented. That's because Firefox has a partnership with Cloudflare, but let's verify that by going to the settings. Same thing here, click the three lines, settings, privacy and security, scroll down. DNS over HTTPS. You can see here the default protection includes using Cloudflare for DOH. Here you also have another choice. If you choose increased protection, you can choose another provider or a custom provider that has DOH enabled. We're gonna leave this as is. We're gonna use the default protection and that's all you have to do for Firefox. As we saw with the Google Chrome DOH settings, you can even get the DOH settings from the OS level of a given device. This is especially the case with laptops and workstations. You can actually ensure that DOH is enabled in the settings for the device itself. So let's walk through that. I previously showed how to do this in the video where I explained how to change your DNS settings. So I'm gonna jump right to these settings. If you're not sure how to do this, go check out that video first. 
and you'll get to see exactly where I'm going. All right, so here I am in my Wi-Fi settings. I'm gonna to go to hardware properties. As you remember, it showed unencrypted next to our IPv4 DNS servers. We know that DOH is implemented at our internet browser level, but we can go in here, select edit, DNS over HTTPS. Yes, let's do automatic template and it will use, this is a Cloudflare server. As you can see here, it's using Cloudflare for DOH. We'll do the same thing here for the alternate DNS server, which is also a Cloudflare server. Automatic template, Cloudflare DNS query, save. If you wanna confirm that DOH is configured properly on your device, you can actually go to a specific website. I'll put this down in the description down below. This is a Cloudflare website, but let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, on this Cloudflare website, you can go to Browsing Experience Security Check. We can check our browser. All right, here are the results. There are four check marks across the board, so we know our DNS queries are secure. One thing to keep in mind is that if you use a DNS provider other than Cloudflare, this first result here will result in a question mark, but if you select a DNS provider that has DOH enabled, you have nothing to worry about. As long as you have check marks with these other three categories here, you're good to go. There's nothing to worry about. At this point, your DNS queries are as secure as they can be. If you've followed along with my other videos, you are currently using a DNS provider that ensures that your ISP can't see your DNS queries. And on top of that, now they're encrypted. So if there's a hacker or anybody else, including your ISP, that's listening in on your queries, they can't do so because it's an encrypted connection now. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below. If this information was insightful or your DNS queries are now more secure and more private, please give the video a like. That way other people can ensure that their DNS queries are private and secure as well. Lastly, if you like the content I'm putting out on my channel, I invite you to subscribe and come along for the ride. I'll have plenty more tips and tricks like this one that you can use to improve the security and privacy of your home network. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.